guys. Look at how foggy it is. It's a bit of a whiteout. Uh, it's only about 8 degrees at the moment down here. It's supposed to be springtime. We're coming into summer. But the last few days have been really cold. It's supposed to be really low wind all day today. So um, I've got the drone with me and I've got an idea. I want to put the drone up and then cast a stick bait under the drone and see if I can film some kingfish attacking the stick bait. I reckon that'll be sick. Could be a bit hard to pull off, but we'll see how we go. And failing that, we'll just get a bin for a snapper for a feed and I'll be happy. Woo, it's chilly! And it's foggy. Got the gloves on today. She's pretty brisk. Fingers are gonna feel it. Not a breath of wind at the moment though, so it's shaping up to be a good day. I cannot see anything. Marker. Man, it's foggy down here. That's where it's a godsend to have GPS. Just follow the trail. Finally, we're out of the fog. West Coast. She's still pretty lumpy out here. Quite a few swells rolling in still, but um, don't know whether you can see that. All the fog coming out off the river comes from there and it's going out to sea all the way out there. So we're probably going to get caught in fog again soon. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get into it, see if we can catch some fish. Alright. First drift of the day, and I think I will try for a kingy first up. Water vis is terrible today. Well, no fish that time. I think I'll move to the better bug. Right, no luck on the kingfish, so we'll swap out to the better bug, see if we can get some snapper. So we hooked something, it's not very big, just a little snapper. Got something. I think it's probably a rat kingfish. Well, it's taking line like that.
It's always quite hard to judge how big the fish is on these light sets. Because even a rat kingfish can have you probably mucking around for 10 minutes. Exactly like this one has. But a good warm up nonetheless. Oh, he's gone. So it's proving to be pretty quiet here. Um, I might just try jig for kingfish once more. The fishing is slow. Um, only caught one snapper. Might have been just legal, but I threw him back anyway. I think we'll head out a bit deeper. Last week, this shallow spot wasn't doing that well. So, and a couple of days before that, the deep spot was. So, I think I'll head out there and um, try the deeper spot for some snapper. Feel a little bit seasick. So we've just arrived at the next spot. We've actually got a couple of boats out here as well. The one's anchored on the reef. You can see these guys over here have been catching some rat kingfish. This one might be legal. That's why you change your assistant. That was my fault. Just worn out. After too many fish. Alright, we got a nice new assist rig on there. Drop it down and see how we go. Might have finally hooked myself a legal one. He hasn't been able to pull any drag though. Maybe even if he's only up around the eight or nine kilo mark, I'll be still be happy. That's why he fought so hard, he's hooked in the throat. Well, I shouldn't have mucked around with that one. <laughs> he was hooked right in between the gills in the bottom. Um, hopefully it hasn't damaged him. He swam away all right, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just not my day today. So it's quarter to one now, and I have one 35 centimeter snapper in the bin. <laughs> Tried my three usual spots out here, and caught nothing but small kingfish. There's plenty of them around, if that's what you want to catch. Yeah, so I'm just trying over the sand in between my spots at the moment, and that's going about just as well. 
it is quite a nice day out here, so it's still nice to be out. But it would just be a little bit nicer to catch some more fish. So I think I just hooked a kingfish on the Kibera. It's a bit hard to tell how big it is, but it might be a long battle. I could actually see him when he grabbed it. And he turned around and ran the other way. I can see him now. It's still hard to judge how big he is though. Yep, so he was just a rat. That's how these lures work, just those tiny little hooks. And you can bring in fish of any size. They just get hooked so easily. Unfortunately, I think I've got another small king. I managed to pick up one more legal snapper, bringing my fish tally to two for the day. It's quarter to two in the afternoon now. I think I will try one more spot and then head home. But it's looking like a pretty slow day. I don't know how everyone else is getting on out here, but I'm struggling. So I'm back in my first spot. I've tried soft baiting and I've tried digging for kingfish and didn't get anything on either but i did have a few hits on the kingfish jig right on the bottom they were quite aggressive they didn't feel like kingfish they might have been good snapper so i might get the kabura and drift over the reef with that and so i'll send down the kabura here we go Just like that, a little panty snapper off the top of the reef. I don't know how this is going to go. Could be a good one. It does feel like there's a bit of weight there. again. Feels like a snapper this time though. Another nice little snapper. That. And gone just as easy as that too. There's a little spot on the reef, a little shelf where they're sitting. And they don't seem to be moving from it. Back on to another snapper on the Kibera. Look at the colour of this water. All thanks to the Waikato River. Back outside the bar now. I've got half a dozen hand-sized fish in the bin. It was hard going all day. 
Probably could have stayed and filled the bin once I found those fish at the end, but um, I'm going out to dinner tonight, so I want to get back a bit earlier for that. And yeah, so it was a bit windy back where I was fishing, but back up at the bar, it's just almost glassed right off. Beautiful conditions. Guess I'll head back in the river and put the ski on the trailer.